Hi, and welcome to Learnist. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can take advantage of our powerful pricing plan options that you can set up within the platform. Just would like to remind you, this is not a guide of how to set up your payment gateway for the very first time. There is a separate video for that. Go ahead and check that out. This is the guide which you should know once you have set up your payment gateway, how you can take advantage and full utilization of our pri uh, powerful pricing plan options that you can set up. Let's go ahead and walk you through with that. It's actually super fun and one of my personal favorite feature. Just go ahead and click up onto any of the course. We created a music school course. I'll go ahead and click on the settings. Remember, this setting is for the whole course itself, not, not for the one individual video. Just, just click on the settings and if you scroll a little bit, you'll see the pricing plan options. Let's go ahead and click on it and deep dive into it. So just go ahead and click on add a pricing plan. As you can see, there are so many options about the pricing plan. Each course has a variety of different occasions of their pricing plans. Some of the course you want to go ahead for the sales. Sometimes you want to set up different pricing plan for different countries. And sometimes you want to provide EMI options. Our platform provides you all the options that you want to have. For example, let's go ahead and set up free plan. Free plan is absolutely simple. You can go ahead and test this out on your own. I'll just go ahead and click on one time purchase. Once I click on this, you can see there are so many options of how you want it to be enabled. For example, this is one time payment plan. I'm going to go ahead and call this one as test plan uh, one time and then go ahead and give it a short description and long description for your own purposes. Make it public, then simply go ahead and add your pricing. Since this is a one time purchase, student will be able to use this plan for one time only. I'll just go ahead and for the demo purpose, I'll just go ahead and add 10,000 to this one and the discounted price is going to be 9,000. Then I can choose up my validity and choose how much for this is should be a trial duration. Trial duration is something where student can just enroll in your course and can spin around and can see what are the offerings and trial offerings which are available, can have a small demo about the courses. Then you can go ahead and choose a renewal plan. You can go ahead and create a separate plan and choose your renewal plans as well that this is going to be my renewal. If somebody wants to repurchase my subscription, I can offer them this plan and you can provide discounts and offerings in that. Once you go ahead and select your payment gateway, for example, let's just say cash free in this case, you can go ahead and choose enable and you can use this plan for renewal or normal. Once you create, for example, a renewal plan, this will act as a renewal plan and it will show up into a renewal plan section. So you can have one separate plan for the purchasing and one separate plan for the renewals. This is one of the great things that you can do. Once you're done with all of this, just go ahead and click on add pricing plan. Let's just say we go ahead and click on add pricing plan. Now this pricing plan is test is going to be a renewal plan. So once I go ahead and click on any of them, I can now will be able to see that, hey, what is my renewal plan? I can just go ahead and see in the drop down that I will have the renewal plan. I need to publish my plan, almost forgot that. So let's just go ahead and click on this, click on publish status, click on publish and save it. Now I should be able to see, let's go ahead and click on one time payment plan, go up here in the drop down, and I'll see, there we go, test one time plan. So this is a separate purchase and separate pricing that you can set, which will be visible only to the users who are renewing to your course. That's really one superpowers that you can use. I'll go ahead and cancel this and we'll walk you through with a couple of more. So this is one time purchase as well as renewal plan. Also, what you can do is use installment purchase plan. Let's just say some of the courses are not worth 10,000, they are probably 80,000 or 90,000, and you want to offer the students uh, EMI options for that. So you can go ahead and use installment plans for that. And let's just say the course price is uh, 90,000, and you want to have a discounted price of probably 80,000, totally up to you, what do you want to set up? Now you can go ahead and set up how many installments you want to give uh, to this user. Probably you want to give them eight installments, probably you want to give them one installment, two installment, totally up to you. I want to give two installment to the users. What should be the recurring days? I'll just set up the recurring days of 30 days. First installment comes first and then the second installment comes after 30 days. If student pays after 30 days, he keeps the access of the course. Otherwise, the platform will automatically block the access until the payment is being made. Then once we can set the expiry date and once the second installment comes up, the student will unlock the access for the rest of in this case, 365 days. That's super simple to understand. Let's go ahead and click on this. I'll just select my payment gateway, renewal plans, whatever that are. I'll just go ahead and add cash free, something like this. And this is my normal plan. I can just go ahead and add this pricing. And don't forget to just publish this one. This is super important. So if I have my installment plans, go ahead and publish status, go ahead and publish it. Then only this plan will be visible everywhere. So this is what we have. 
Now, not only that, sometimes we want to publish special pricing for the occasions, for the festivals, or probably other reasons. Maybe you are celebrating your school's anniversary. Just click, go ahead and click on add pricing, and this is a limited time offer plan. So this is a limited time offer. You can go ahead and set the pricing that this pricing will be a duration price only. It will be available from XYZ date to the XYZ date only. And you can choose uh, the validity and rest of the options are pretty same. So you can enable this and during that time only, this price will become active. So this is super useful for running sales on the occasions and all these things. So as you can see, the pricing plan for each course is very well thought out, very thoroughly researched at what could be the use cases of it. And all of this comes absolutely within the platform itself. So you become in charge of what kind of pricing you want to offer, how you want to offer them, and even the EMI options that you can enable for your students. That is it. If you have more questions, don't hesitate to reach us out. We would love to help you further. <laughs>